Topping our consumer news this afternoon, production of baby formula is ramping up again at Abbott Nutrition's Michigan plant. Damage from flooding from severe thunderstorms forced that facility to halt operations in mid-June. That was just two weeks after the factory reopened following a months-long shutdown over a contamination issue. The closure contributed to a national shortage of baby formula. Abbott says its special formula for infants went back online July 1st, but it's still working to restart production of Similac products. Inflation continues to push up prices for everyday household items, but reporter Elise Preston has some easy, eco-friendly ways to save money. From the kitchen to the laundry room, and even in the bathroom, many Americans may be flushing dollars down the toilet. You have the potential to save thousands upon thousands of dollars a year by making small incremental changes. Paul Hope with Consumer Reports worked on a new review showing how little changes can add up to big savings, including paper towels. I would say Americans are chronic overusers of paper towels. Hope's family switched from paper towels to cloth ones for light cleanup. How much money have you saved uh, switching this over? We're saving close to $600 a year just by using reusable washcloths instead of paper towels. You line it up. Installing a bidet can cut down on toilet paper and save up to $231 a year. Trading in packaged coffee pods for a reusable pod filter can give your budget a $393 jolt. And saving water can save money. For lightly soiled dishes, you typically don't need a pre-rinse, just a good scrape, put them in the machine and save that extra water. Turning the hot water heater down from 140 to 120 degrees can put a cool $453 in your pocket. When doing the laundry, choose the cold water setting. Our testing pretty routinely finds that it cleans every bit as well as the hot setting. And Hope says too many people use too much detergent. Most machines don't need more than about a shot glass worth or one and a half ounces of detergent to do a really good job. All the tips are environmentally friendly, helping you go green and save green at the same time. Elise Preston, CBS News, Brewster, New York. And speaking of green, Thor Love and Thunder earned an estimated $143 million across North America in its opening weekend, taking the number one spot at the box office. The movie bumped Minions, The Rise of Gru into second place, and Top Gun Maverick held the third spot on its seventh weekend. That Tom Cruise sequel is set to cross the $600 million mark by today, making it one of only a dozen films to ever achieve that.